Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the uh, Randburg Astro Stadium for the 2019 Aitken Cup Final. We have uh, JP High School for Boys against uh, Baylou College. And uh, on your screen you have the Baylou College team. Um, quite an exciting side, uh, full of flair, and uh, looking forward to uh, take on the rivals JP in the second time at an Aiken final. Last year was their, their first time in the final. Some exciting players in that uh, Bailu side. Uh, if you look at uh, Marvin Simmons, uh, Keenan Wax, very exciting young players to watch. Uh, the JP side, also uh, some very talented hockey players. Um, keep an eye on the uh, captain Ryan Mann, manning, th manning that midfield and uh, some really good exciting forwards. It's going to be a, a very exciting contest up front. As the players get uh, ready to make their way onto the field, um, I'm joined in the uh, commentary today by uh, Mark Saunders and uh, I'm Colin Fielding. Afternoon, Colin. I'm sure we're in for an absolute humdinger of a game here. Uh, yes, Mark, I couldn't agree more. Um, two contrasting styles of hockey, um, both exciting teams and uh, some really talented hockey players here. Yeah, the contrasting uh, styles, uh, Bolu looking to go on a 1v1 battle and have the, the skill sets to uh, to do it. JP have uh, okay. skill sets but uh, look to transfer okay, and trough that ball more. Uh, yes, and as the players uh, make their way onto the field, um, the two umpires for today are Stephen Hillock and uh, Peter Calder. Players just uh, shaking hands and uh, getting ready to start the game. And Mark, we also have uh, two really astute coaches here today with uh, Alistair Fredericks in charge of Bailu and uh, uh, Lance Lowe in charge of the uh, JP outfit. Absolutely. Lance, uh, a national player himself, and Alistair Fredericks, an uh, ex national player himself, and an ex national coach. And uh, Lance actually playing uh, in uh, Alistair's club side that Alistair coaches. Absolutely. It's going to be proving to be, uh, to be quite a challenge for, for Lance and for Ellie to see what they can do here. I've had the fortune of working with both men. I've coached Lance since he was 15 years old and uh, have uh, played under Ali uh, for a number of years and have uh, coached uh, against him for probably, probably longer than uh, 15 years. And obviously you know quite a lot of the uh, JP guys, they, they play in your club side. Um, some exciting young players in that team. Yes, they do. There's a number of players there that are playing in their second or third season in Premier League hockey, and I think that is uh, showing to be quite an asset uh, playing against uh, South African men's players, senior provincial players. And the Baloo side are the same, playing in the senior side at Baloo the, in the club game. Uh, yes, a lot of them uh, play for uh, Alistair's Baloo side. And this is a repeat of, uh, of last year's final, where uh, JP okay. came out winners. So I'm sure that uh, Bailu will be looking to uh, change that this year. Yeah, JP, JP were comfortable winners in last year's final, but I think this year's contest might be a little closer than that. Push back from JP. Adam McLean able to hold the ball up. Connor Cotton rolling the ball around the back. JP looking to play with four at the back. Ball rolled into midfield. Marvin picked it up. This is an exciting young player. Uh, very, and uh, looks to go forward very quickly with some very slick handling skills. Well defended by uh, the JP defense there. Yeah, Rowan First Wales one. working hard back uh, to get that ball. And remaining calm. I think that's what we're going to see a lot of today with uh, Balu running hard at the JP defense. And if they can remain calm in the defense, Long corner! And just uh, from the early, early exchanges, we look like uh, Bailu are using a pocket or a bucket press to try and turn the ball over and uh, counter quickly. That's, that's what their strength is. 
Yeah, I think they want uh, want JP to play the ball through the middle of the field. Happy to sit back a little bit and allow the ball to come to them. Opening up a little bit more space in front of the, the JP defenders. Selena Mashanu on the ball now, looking to try and keep it in. And uh, JP will play the patient game though and uh, try and manipulate that press. Yeah, I think there's some masters in that. Good patient build up by uh, JP. Yeah, I think JP is going to look to suck in some of those uh, Balu forwards, suck them out of that defense. And a uh, good, good overlap and uh, creating space there by the right half. It's Ross breaking back on the ball, some exciting skill. Lots of hands going forward. Thank you. Ross is one of those players who plays in the JP club side. Uh, penalty corner by JP. They're looking to take the free hits really quickly and not give uh, Balu opportunity to set up their defense. Yeah, Balu could probably question where the hit was taken. Um, I thought the infringement was just outside the circle. And uh, the player taking it outside the five, running hard, forcing it onto the player's foot inside the circle, winning themselves a, a penalty corner. And that's the nature of the game at the moment with uh, everything in such a high tempo. Just uh, wait, Jeffy, please. It's Just very wait. difficult for umpires to actually get that in the right areas. Okay. Already, guys. Shift on the castle there by uh, JP. Balu keeper handling that. I don't think the shift was effective as it uh, could have been. I don't think any of the runners changed what they were going to do. And a good save by Obakeng uh, Medici uh, from Beilu. Yeah, watching JP uh, throughout the, the tournament, I think the penalty corner has been one of the areas that they've struggled with the most. Hey, I'm watching you 18. Hey, you too. I'm yes, watching you. Yes, they do seem to uh, score a lot more field goals than they do from uh, that set piece. Absolutely. Adam McLean just guilty there of forcing the pass and losing the possession. JP in the first phase of the game were a lot more patient and have... Uh, Subsequently, just uh, started to give the ball away. And uh, contrasting presses where Beilu are looking to uh, have a bit of a pocket and bucket press. Uh, JP are going with a full press on uh, Beilu. Yeah, I think with the style of hockey that uh, Beilu play, they're really happy for counter-attack style of hockey, where JP prefer that uh, build-up play. Oh, oh, once again, uh, a good lead by the uh, right half from JP, opening up a good passing lane for uh, the centre backs to get the ball through. Yeah, Connor Cotton with a fantastic ball through the middle. I think Adam McLean absolutely exploited that. There's Connor Cotton on the ball now. Nathan Gross, uh, that's, sorry, Callum Smith there on the ball. Ross Breitenbach not able to keep the possession. Sorry guys, there was two balls. So two balls on the field, so uh, up by Peter Calder just uh, slowing things down and bringing it back. Yeah, the, the pace of the play is going to be pretty impressive anyway, but uh, having ball boys in the final is going to make it even quicker. Let's see if both teams can sustain the high tempo for the full 60 minutes. Three foot. Early substitutions here by uh, Lance Lowe for Jeppi. Yeah, Leandro Cavallo just coming on. Connor Cotton on the ball, happy to take the players on. <coughs> Doing some good work, but forcing the free hit. Callan Haney on the ball, Rowan Wales with the ball, coming to the top circle. Exciting young player the there, Rowan Wales. 
Yeah, he's phenomenal. I saw him score a goal the other day in the King Edwards JP game. And the skill sets he showed there was suitably impressive. I think the players might be uh, finding it difficult to hear the, the whistle with the crowd in at Randburg. Um, yes, it's not the first time that uh, there has to be a second loud blast on the whistle. Ryan Mann looking for a circle entry and trying to win a penalty corner for Jeppy there. Yeah, Callum Smith just guilty of uh, quite a physical uh, tackle on the Bolu defender. A couple of words there with Callum Smith and uh, Sinele Mchunu from Bolu. Early altercation happening. Yes, and a lot of these guys would have uh, played together at provincial level at some stage in their careers as well, so they know each other pretty well. Absolutely, and I'm pretty sure there's no love lost amongst the two. Circle entry for uh, Jeppy. That's a really good defending by uh, Fawaz Kadar. Uh, turnover starting to creep into the game. And the turnovers will uh, probably play into uh, Baloo's hands in their counter-attack style. Absolutely. It's just going to draw in a, a, a player from Chepi and find the space behind. And uh, with the speed that uh, Baloo have, I think it's going to be something quite hard to handle. Chepi need to maintain keeping possession, not giving the ball away. Josh van der Berg entering the field for Chepi. <coughs> Brian Mann is an exciting young player, also playing in his third Premier League season at JP Club. He did really well there under huge pressure from uh, the Blue midfielders. Yeah, I think he's going to be one of those players they are going to look to close down as much as they can. Balu looking to play that give and go style hockey. And it's so quick if they can keep up those uh, passes and find those connections. They're really going to be a hot, hot side to handle. And, and they're a really exciting side when they uh, get the ball and look to go forward. Yeah, I think if you're watching, don't step away for a second. You're going to be in for an absolute treat of schoolboy hockey. Nathan Gross with some good strong work. Great turn from Leandro. The baseline. It's a long corner. I'm and standing some, uh, right good here. defending there corner. on the baseline by uh, Bailu, getting their feet out the way, making sure that there's no penalty corner. And Chulu with some uh, physical uh, pressure there on Ryan Man. All rolled out wide. Oh, ball rolling straight across the goal and finished and in the uh, top corner really good, uh, by finish. Leandro. <laughs> Leandro Carvalho finishing the ball in the back post there, pushing it high into the net. I think the Baloo players stopped playing, they were calling for a foot just inside the circle there. And Leandro uh, Carvalho walking off with a well-deserved rest, I'm sure. Very happy challenge from um, Junu. Peter Calder looking at a green card for <coughs> Junu. And uh, Bailu now one man, Bailu one man down with a, a green card, which means that uh, Bailu will be playing with uh, 10 men for the next two minutes. I think young Junu uh, could possibly look to keep quiet on the bench here, take table. Looking to possibly give him a five minute yellow card. Understandably, he's upset. After all, this is a, is a final and the guys are going to give everything. Absolutely, and as a coach, you want everything out of your players. And as we mentioned earlier, Mark, uh, a goal against you uh, often uh, sparks you into something special. Absolutely. You're looking for good goals in finals and uh, he really produced a wonderful finish there. Go, 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 go. 
as, as well as uh, Balu attack, I think they need to put high priority on uh, the way they're defending. It has been phenomenal up until that point, but you can't lax for one second in this game. And especially not uh, against a side like uh, JP because they're really well organized and uh, any sniff that they get, they'll capitalize really quickly. Just a reminder to the viewers out there that uh, this final is a little bit different to the Bowden final. We're playing uh, four chuckers of 15 minutes, um, whereas the Bowden final uh, was two halves of 25. So we'll yeah, be It's a wonderful chuckers. rule that uh, FIH has introduced. No four chuckers, I think, for the players in, in terms of recovery. But for, as a coaching aspect, I think you, you get to talk to your players a lot more, offering a few more tactics. Yeah, it's always nice just to get those uh, two minutes to uh, maybe change things up and uh, see what's happened in the first 15 minutes of the game. Yeah, and also to, to stop the flow of uh, the dominant side. Um, JP looking to Bailu, attack, Bailu yeah. back to full numbers, so uh, Sanele Mashanu is straight back into his defensive role. Mark, if you were Alistair, would you maybe not want to just uh, stretch the field a little bit more with uh, his forwards? Give these uh, exciting midfields a bit more space to work in? I definitely would want to stretch a little bit more. I just feel that uh, the midfielders are having to force themselves two up balls. wide there was two uh, balls. to go and fetch a ball, but yet the ball's not being rolled to them. Outside. And I think the, right. the guys are getting at the, the back and look to find those midfielders on the outside channels. You worry about playing, thank you. <coughs> and especially today, I think uh, we've got an exciting midfield battle here with uh, both these teams' midfielders, are really good quality players. First they one, really first are one. good quality, I think. Uh, yeah, Marvin Simmons. <coughs> really is an exciting player. Okay, let's go. Up. Bailu looking for a circle entry there to try and uh, win a penalty corner late in this uh, first chucker. Yeah, Some good work uh, by Aiden Tan getting himself out of trouble there. And this is where Bailu are exciting. And uh, hey! Marvin Simmons looking to try and get a circle entry there on that right hand side. Yeah. And he does just that and wins a penalty corner. No, umpire Stephen Hillock oh, adjudicated no, no, that there was no, a foot no. just inside. No, and I'm saying inside no. the circle. <laughs> one more. Uh, Jeppy, you're short one defender. Wait till the whistle, guys, eh? Wait till the whistle. Jeppy, you're short one defender. <laughs> So a penalty corner on the stroke of uh, quarter time, really important for Bailu if they can uh, get one back here, Mark. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go, they gentlemen, would love let's to go. go into the next chucker um, with a uh, going on level matters. Let's see what they can bring here. Oh, a little mistrap, but uh, a really good save. Add another oh, penalty corner in the water. It's in his foot! It's in his foot! There's nothing wrong with it! I think the players Short all relaxed there. I thought the ball was going out. Hand of sin, hand let's go. To re award, wait till this whistle. A second penalty corner for Bailu. And some very good first wave running there by uh, Jeppy. 
So Mark, that brings us uh, to the close of the first chakra. Quite an entertaining uh, chakra. Absolutely, high speed, high tempo, and a lot of action. And that's exactly what uh, we were expecting when we uh, sat down the for Columbia. this final. It's gone up 100%, and, across. and I think everybody sitting in the stadium here is uh, feeling exactly the same as we are. And hopefully uh, all the viewers at home. Uh, just to remind you, um, Quarter Chaka is uh, JP High School for Boys, 1-0 up against Bailu College. And uh, two-minute break, and we'll be back on the field for all the action in the second Chaka. Yeah, I look forward to it. So, Mark, what do you think um, the coaches will be uh, saying to their players? Let's start with um, Lance first for JP. I'd say for, for JP there, that Lance would be asking him to remain a little bit more patient on the final ball going forward. They're really patient at the back, but they sometimes just seem to rush that last ball the final quarter. I think if they can have come out of the, of the final quarter with a few more outcomes, PCs and goals, I think uh, Lance will start feeling a little bit more comfortable. Um, yes, they must just uh, probably not get into the high tempo trap um, that Belu like to play. Yeah, I think uh, Belu are really good at uh, forcing players to play in the style that they play, um, the 1v1 battle. And uh, for Alistair, what do you think he'll be uh, telling his Belu guys being 1-0 down at the moment? I think Alistair's uh, probably finding that his key players have been starved of the ball a little bit, and uh, he's probably going to ask for a little bit more work um, from his midfield to try and receive the ball. and. Uh, get some go forward ball if they can turn the ball over around the halfway line get that counter attack and that uh, speed going at the JP defense I think uh, that's exactly what he'll be looking for right we are all set for uh, the start of uh, the second chucker good work up the right hand side there by uh, JP two balls let's go no, I think that's uh, exactly what you were speaking about uh, just now, Mark, during half time or the, the quarter break. JP trying to force the ball a little bit there, now the counter attack by Beilu. Yeah, Colin, it's uh, really the strength of uh, Beilu. If they can keep uh, playing that style of game, they're bound to break down uh, the JP defense. Marvin on the ball here. Nathan Gross able to handle that and clearing the ball. On the line, on the line. Yes, uh, interesting battle that as well. Uh, Nathan Gross up against uh, Marvin Simmons, both uh, very talented yeah, young hockey players and quite exciting players for the future. He definitely is. He plays in that club side I've been speaking about, and uh, a lot of excitement uh, around the style of hockey that he plays. He's he's one of those all-round players who's strong in defence and has some really good go forward. Just. Uh, Something really interesting uh, watching Bailu at the moment. Looks like they uh, only have a back two. Where you are, Aiden, um, <coughs> not a normal uh, shape for uh, hockey these oh, days. I think uh, they're going to put maximum pressure on the JP midfield by pushing a few extra players up. I think they'd look to put uh, JP through that old uh, run cycle and start moving their midfield. So a change of press in this chucker here for uh, Bailu. Alistair's deciding to go with a full press. Yeah, it's um, a little different approach to what he did in the first quarter. I think he still really wants to, still really wants to turn the ball over as uh, high as he can. Looks like he's wanting to rush Connor Cotton, forcing them into a bigger ball run overhead. Marvin Simon's picking the ball up and speed through there. Good working back by Callan Haney. Turnover, Ryan Mann That's on the ball. That's a good defense by uh, the three Jeppy boys in that uh, space. And uh, nice almost counter attack um, there by Jeppy. It's a wonderful counter attack. Uh, Ryan Mann okay, looking up and looking for uh, the big uh, Tomahawk. 
onto P spot for, for uh, one of the JP boys diving onto for Callum Smith. Second uh, green card from uh, Sanelli Mashanu. Bailu uh, again down to uh, 10 men. It's a second card for uh, Sanelli Mashanu. There has to be an uh, injury sure. there by... I can't keep on stopping time though, Kino, hey? Um, injury for uh, the Bailu player, Keenan Wax. But he seems to be up and, uh, up and walking. Some fire exchanges here on the, on the sideline. This is, uh, it's all happening here in this final, isn't it, uh, Mark? It absolutely is. Just to inform uh, the viewers here that uh, Chulu's uh, card has been upgraded to a a five-minute yellow card. Quick counter-attack here from uh, Jeppy through uh, Ryan Mann. The final pass just uh, slowing it down. Some good defense by Bailu. So here Isaac's working back hard there to uh, pick up the ball. Sure if anybody is uh, watching there, they've noticed that uh, number 18 to here Isaac's holds the hockey stick in a slightly different manner. What do you make of that, uh, Colin? There for your tackle, um, well, that's quite interesting and, uh, and he does it really well. Um, and it's very unconventional and not easy to defend against. Um, some people will uh, say that he's uh, um, obstructing uh, the defenders. But uh, he does it really well and really effectively. Absolutely. I had a conversation with one of the coaches uh, this morning and uh, asked me the very same question. Uh, do I think he is uh, shielding the ball? And uh, quite a hard comment. Um, hockey sticks are made in a specific manner. You don't get a left-handed hockey stick. So to understand that he's extremely skillful and uh, pretty awesome at what he does there with uh, holding the hockey stick that way. Um, and yes, that's true. Uh, obviously not like ice hockey where you can have uh, left-handed and right-handed hockey stick and uh, I suppose it's just uh, the positions that he gets himself into to uh, make sure that he's not shielding the ball. What would your opinion be on that? Do you think he is shielding? I think there are stages where uh, naturally he would be shielding the ball but if I can get the ball out in front Ryan. of him uh, then it makes it available for the defender. <coughs> Ryan Mann picking up a green card here for a stick check. So uh, for the next couple of minutes, uh, there will be even numbers on the field again, but 10-10 uh, this time. I agree with you there on the, uh, on the shielding. I think when he takes one hand off, uh, off the stick, it can become a bit of a, a shielding option. And it's interesting that, uh, that we speak about that because if a person's carrying the ball normally in his right hand um, and he carries the ball outside there, he's, uh, he's then shielding. So do we say as soon as you put your second hand on the stick that you're now uh, not shielding anymore? Well, it's something that uh, the officials could actually look at. Exciting attack uh, here from Bailu once again. Manager Gavin Becker working hard here and uh, calming down Tanelli and Junu. 
Yes, uh, he's more valuable on the field than what he is off the field. Absolutely. Proving to be quite a handful uh, just inside the, the JP final quarter. Wonderful skills there from Marvin Simons. Oh, yeah. Beautiful stick work. And a good opportunity presenting itself there for uh, Dante Gordon. Just a pity he couldn't uh, make connection with that backhand. Yeah, it's but really good work there by Marvin uh, Simmons on the on the right hand side. That's happened twice to Balloon now. It's fantastic work going into the circle and uh, two freshies. Stay out of it, stay out! So uh, Sanelli back on the field for uh, Bailu. Callum Smith was rolling the ball forward. The Bailu keeper cleaning oh, up there quite nicely. A very good save there. And Ryan Mann rejoining the uh, match again for JP as well. <coughs> Connor Cotton with a comfortable receive there on the overhead. Good little skill, patient. Ryan Mann rolling the ball forward. Some good skill there by uh, Tahir Isaacs getting uh, out of trouble there. JP remaining calm in defense there, just watching the ball roll over the sideline, over the baseline. And that's important, and uh, we spoke about it in the previous final, how important it is for defenders to uh, just be patient, and often you don't have to make a tackle. This could be dangerous to. for uh, JP. <laughs> oh, big uh, clash in midfield. Five uh, minute yellow from uh, Stephen Hillock for. Uh, the JP forward. So a yellow card for uh, Deontay Gordon. <coughs> Bit of a clumsy uh, tackle there. Bailu will be uh, playing the rest of this chucker with uh, only 10 men. Five meters. I think everything's starting to flare up there. Yes, and it's uh, like we spoke earlier about just uh, keeping emotions in check in a final. And Mark uh, Henny with wonderful turn there. And Mark Jeffy would obviously uh, look to try and capitalise now in this next five minutes when the, they're a man up. Absolutely, another clumsy uh, option there for Bolu. Penalty corner for for JP, I think. Uh, JP would like to take one here going into the half, going for the half 2 0. <coughs> okay, Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Hey, Aiden, no, I, I, I want to tell you something. If, if, Aiden, if I hear him say something, you can guarantee I will sort it out. Okay. So, JP's second uh, penalty corner of the game today. On the whistle, please. Unsuccessful with the first one. Okay, you okay here, guys? It's a flick in the top left hand corner from Connor Cotton. It's a wonderful finish. Very well executed penalty corner. And as we were saying just before that, uh, probably uh, just what Jeffy wanted at this time of the game. Absolutely. I think what you'll find is uh, the discipline from Bolu is uh, being the thing that's letting them down. Yes, and uh, as, as we were saying, keeping those emotions in check. I know it's a big stage, and uh, the guys are excited to be here and wanting to play for their school. <coughs> And of course, the rivalry of uh, last year's final. Definitely, yes. 
ball a little bit heavy rolled forward from uh, Nathan Gross Outlet there by uh, Aiden Tin finding uh, Sinelli Matunu. Matunu adjudicated to have uh, shielded the ball. Oh, once again, uh, with the ball boys, we have two balls on the pitch. Yeah, it does change the dynamic of the game, where it can sometimes speed the game up. If they get two balls on the pitch, it really slows it down. <laughs> and and quite interesting tactic uh, there from JP, just to slow things down a little bit, even though they're a man up at the moment. Yeah, I think Connor looking for the perfect pass. Solid under the high ball there, Connor Cotton. Yeah, I think uh, Balu probably with the wrong tactic of trying to exploit the, the high ball. Uh, most of the JP defenders are really comfortable under that high ball. <coughs> Good attacking opportunity here for uh, Balu. Keenan Wax in the circle. Unfortunately, the ball just rolling over the baseline. <coughs> Half time. 2-0 to JP. Balu College, I think, needing a, a strong fight back. And uh, Mark, a really exciting uh, half there. One goal in East Chaka. Yeah, I think uh, JP finding that they're really consistent what they're doing. Um, staying to the process and the plans. Staying with the, the game plan and keeping the emotions out. I think that's going to be proving uh, big for, for JP. And it's at the detriment of Balu's uh, hockey so far. And uh, JP obviously being uh, the well-organized side that they are, it's going to be tough to to break down. I do think uh, Beilu, as soon as they get uh, that counter-attack and that flare going, um, they'll get themselves right back into the game. I mean, it's only two goals, and we've spoken about the two-goal trap before. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a dangerous thing, the 2 nil trap. Um, it's obviously something that's said in tongue-in-cheek most often, but... Uh, Take your foot off the gas for one second, one goal back, and before you know it, it's two goals back, and then it's anybody's game. And I think um, the exciting players that Belu have, they uh, definitely can pull uh, those two goals back quite quickly and quite easily if they uh, apply themselves. Absolutely. I think uh, Marvin Simons is one of those players to watch out for with the hands that he has going forward. He could really punish some sloppy defending and some sloppy discipline if, if JP happened to fall into that trap. Right, so uh, half time, uh, we'll be back in the next uh, couple of minutes for the second half. Okay, 40 seconds, 40 seconds. Okay, let's go. Gilly, let's go, please. Gilbert, come, let's go. And welcome back to the uh, Aiken final for 2019. And uh, straight away from the start, uh, JP with a goal. Uh, Mark, that was really quick. We didn't even get a chance to uh, catch our breath. Goal within 17 seconds of the start of the whistle. As I turned up, ball pushed in the back post. JP three, Balu nil. 
So from that exciting start, uh, welcome back everybody to uh, Randberg Astro Stadium for the uh, 2019 Aiken Final. Um, I'm Colin Fielding and uh, with me is uh, Mark Saunders. Um, Mark, as I said, uh, we didn't even get a chance to uh, catch our breath there. Um, what would your message have been at, uh, at halftime if you were the Jeffy coach? Just remain doing Outside. the same things and stay as disciplined. Allow Baloo to play the, the conflict the game. The Except it looks like it's just crept into Jeppy's game. You've hit the ball away. It's a corner. I think the message uh, to Baloo at halftime would have been the interesting one, Colin. What would you have said? Um, yes, uh, well, I would have told him to uh, just focus on our discipline towards our game plan and to uh, what we need to be doing out there on the field. Um, I did when I walked past, I heard Alistair Fenix uh, saying limit our uh, mistakes. Um, so obviously that's what he's looking for for the value guys. Yeah, they're a team with such excitement and uh, skill sets that uh, if they just stuck to what the plan was and kept the motions in check, really so could do some damage. So this is Belu's first penalty corner of the game. And uh, straight back into it uh, with a goal and uh, well, Mark, first two minutes of uh, the second half and we have two goals. Uh, this can only lead to uh, exciting things to come. It's wonderful hockey to watch. Highly exciting. But a simple short corner. Slip right, back to P-spot. Rolled it into the goals through the keeper's legs. Marvin Simon's on the ball. Brave defending from Adam McLean. Very. And uh, if I have a look at um, Bailu, they've stepped their press up a little bit as well into more of a running press, putting big pressure on the uh, JP defenders. <laughs> and a, a very good circle entry there by uh, Sanele Mashanu. Yeah, the JP goalkeeper um, just losing his uh, helmet in that exchange there and quickly grabbing and putting it on. Penalty corner number two for uh, Baylou College. Yeah, Baylou also back to full strength. Um, everyone on the park. Nathan Gross uh, with a big challenge, knocking the ball outside the field of play. Okay, Baylou, let's go, please. Hey, Good. Is there an injury? Is there an injury? Okay, if I'm stopping time, you're gonna have to call someone on the cap. Okay, okay, just step out for me please, step out, I'm worried about your safety more than anything else. Okay, would you like me to bring someone on to have a look at it? Okay, cool, okay. What do you think is going to happen here, Colin? We've got to start the corner please. Another variation. Let's get in. Well, uh, stick to what works, if uh, we can do it a second time off. and uh, get a goal, then why not? Yeah, keep those, keep those uh, defenders uh, guessing. And uh, Keenan West hitting the post there for uh, Bailu. Jeffy uh, surviving that one there. But uh, pressure's not over yet. It was a solid strike hitting the upright. Great counter attack there by uh, Jeffy. Well defended there from Bailu. I think if you're just uh, tuning in for the for the first time, you have missed an absolute cracker of a first half, let alone the first five minutes of this quarter. It has been an amazing high-tempoed game. This is the standard of schoolboy hockey. We're in for a treat watching these uh, young men progress further in their hockey careers. Colin, I'd imagine a number of these young men looking to make the uh, provincial side soon to be announced. Um, yes, from uh, both teams. And I've been fortunate enough to uh, have worked with a couple of them at uh, under 16 level over the last couple of years and uh, watched them grow as hockey players. Uh, some really exciting players coming through and uh, it's really good for the province. Yes, sure there, there, you thank you. looking for a, a gold medal at the Hasn't next, gone far, uh, yes, not has. Tees. Um, I think we're always looking for gold medals at, uh, at IPTs, but uh, 
uh, definitely be looking for that. Just watching the standard here, I think uh, yes. we are in for an absolute treat of an RPT coming up. Um, yes, as, uh, as mentioned, uh, worked with quite a couple of these guys, Robin van Ginkel and myself last year with uh, under-16s, and they won the IPT last year at under-16 level, and uh, it would be nice to see them step up into uh, under-18s and uh, do the same there. Must make you really proud as a coach to know that you've had a hand in some of the development of these uh, young hockey players. Oh, it's always uh, nice, and you've uh, been around the game for a while as well, and uh, it's nice to see our players progress and, uh, and get the results that they require from those effort that they put in. Okay, please, Ryan, where you are, please. And I think what we uh, view here, Colin, is probably a 2 0 trap in disguise. Oh, definitely. Uh, it was a 3 0 trap uh, originally, but um, obviously, Bailu calling clawing one back. Uh, back to the 2 0 trap. And interesting, after that, uh, Frank the half, now things have just settled down a little bit, and both teams feeling each other out again. We're uh, back. I think everyone's nerves are shot, specifically the coaches, but uh, the players managing uh, to you, get uh, settled a lot quicker than everyone else around you. Some good work there by uh, Tahir Isaacs. He is an exciting player to watch, even though he holds a hockey stick in the, in the different hand there. Yes, but often the uh, unconventional players are the most exciting players. Oh, missed opportunity there by uh, Josh Jeffy. van der Berg on back post there. Just couldn't uh, push the ball into the net. End to end stuff here, Mark. It absolutely is, Colin. I feel like we could be watching a tennis match at this point in time. 16 for what? Two heavyweights. 16, eh? Wait for time, please. And the best thing about it is actually. Uh, good build-up hockey and that from uh, one side of the field to the other side of the field. I think that's what we were lacking in the first half where there were far too many uh, aerials coming out the back, bypassing a little bit of the play. Both teams settling down into a system that they're comfortable with. And with the exciting midfielders that both teams have, uh, it's a bit of a waste if you're doing that. Absolutely, I think that's probably what the messages was, were around uh, both camps. Let's get the midfielders into the game. Oh, standards of uh, Balu have just dropped in the last two phases here. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, both these teams carry on at this uh, this tempo that they've been playing, considering the fact that this is uh, the sixth game that they've played in the last three days. Absolutely, after a long tournament, uh, to be playing this type of hockey, this tempo, this style, in a final is unreal. It shows the conditioning of both teams. Joshua van der Berg picking up the ball, slowing it down ever so slightly. Play stick! Don't you shout at me. <laughs> 15. JP no. about to make a few Don't changes. Know. Four yeah, players good. stepping up to the halfway line, calling for their uh, teammates yeah, to come no, off. Just him. Doesn't even shot. I think that's going to be key with the high tempo is uh, being able to roll those subs. Yes, I was just about to say that um, from our conversation earlier, the players on the bench have got a, just as huge role as uh, what the players on the field have. Colin, it's one of those things uh, for myself as a coach. Uh, Keeping those players on the bench engaged, what what uh, do you use to keep them engaged? So I try and get players to uh, almost be involved in the game by watching what their opposition are doing and what their people that uh, or the players that they're going to come on with are doing. Um, in that way, they are actually still part of the game and they can see what's happening. So when they get on, they're already at uh, at match tempo. 
just while you were talking there, Adam McLean receiving a green card for JP. Yeah, I think uh, it's not just the coach who's involved in the coaching of the side. It's uh, everyone has an opinion and uh, obviously uh, wanting them to become students of the game and uh, identifying what they can achieve, uh, achieve and do better on. Uh, yes, definitely. Hey, just take a breath. Shush. Lance, Lance, getting a little bit heated on the sideline, having to be calmed down by the technical table. Umpire Peter Calder also asking him to uh, sit down on the bench for a little bit. So uh, not only the players getting excited and uh, into the heat of things here, the coaches as well. Can you blame them? Not at all. It's uh, all action packed out here. Some good work by uh, Sanelia Mashanu there. It's wonderful counter attack hockey from JP. The one two passes. Marvin Simon's clearing up. Both coaches asking the players to roll the ball a little bit earlier. Give it back, please. Interesting to note that um, Alistair Fredericks hasn't no, made many uh, substitutions, uh, Mark. No, he hasn't. I think uh, he relies on uh, his top 11 and uh, knowing the boys, they can give 100% for a full 60 minutes and I think he's going to play that in the final. Oh, it's an unfortunate role from Ryan Mann. Rowan Wales joining the attack just ahead of Ryan and the pass was a little bit heavy. With a game of this uh, speed and tempo, these four quarters go exceptionally fast, don't you think, Colin? Um, they do, and uh, it's the same for the players in that as well. Before you know it, uh, we're at the next chucker break. Except for the coaches, I'm sure it feels like an absolute age for them. Time seems to stop when you're coaching, doesn't it? Especially when you're into the dying moments of a game. Good covering there by uh, Fawaskada and then having to win it back after you gave it away. I'm totally honest with you, Colin. I think out of everyone on the field, I would hate to be the umpires here. The speed, the tempo. Oh, great opportunity here for uh, Bailu College. One on one with the goalkeeper and uh, great goal there. Umpire Peter Calder awarding Ryan Mann uh, a five-minute yellow card. Uh, the goal scorer there, Josh Williams from uh, Bailu, bringing Bailu right back into things. And uh, Mark, as we spoke about uh, the two-nil trap earlier, it's just one goal and uh, suddenly it's a different game, man. Eh? Absolutely. It was a wonderful ball out the back there from uh, Baloo finding yeah, yeah. Uh, Josh uh, on centre spot uh, unmarked. Uh, he did really well, calm and composed, pulled the keeper out and put the ball in the back of the goals with uh, absolute efficiency. And at the same time that happening, um, you were saying Ryan Mann has uh, been awarded a yellow, so a bit of a tendency for Baloo now uh, going into the end of this chucker. Absolutely. Uh, for the next four minutes of uh, the next chucker, JP going to be a man down. Let's see how they handle this. But that tunnel trap proving to be something quite important that both teams uh, could need to work on a little bit better, whether it's uh, defensively capitalizing and closing it down a bit. And uh, Baloo with that tempo, they are looking to get that third goal. I know it's too early to call, but uh, going to the final quarter with a game of this magnitude, uh, what do you think of a possible shootout, Colin? Uh, anything's possible with uh, these two teams that are playing here at the moment. Um, and I wouldn't uh, be surprised if there's a couple of more goals in that uh, last chucker as well. Yeah, absolutely. 
I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a 5-5 draw in the, in the end of this game. The third quarter just closing out there. JP going into the final quarter of the game, leading by one goal. Score 3-2 to JP. And a very entertaining chucker that mark. Uh, three goals coming from it and uh, the first uh, two goals in the first uh, three minutes of that chucker. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you, if you blinked, you would have missed both of them. I think uh, understanding what uh, both coaches would like to do here would be quite an important part of the game. You know, when you're playing in those uh, bigger competitions with uh, television cameras, you get to have a little insight as to what is said in the huddle. If you were Alistair Fredericks, what, how would you approach this final chat? Well, uh, coming back from 3-0 down, we are completely in the game if I was Alistair, so I'll just be reminding the guys that. And uh, just bearing in mind now, we're going into the start of this chucker huh, with a man up advantage. Um, and if we can get one back in those first couple of minutes while JPR is still a man down, um, could be a different ball game going into the last uh, 10 minutes in this, in this chucker. Huh. I think if uh, Bailu keep the ball and uh, get that counter attack rolling um, and, and find the right players and personnel in the areas, like Marvin Simmons and uh, Aiden Tan and Keenan Wax up front, uh, it could be difficult for the JP boys. Absolutely, I think uh, as exciting as this game is, anything's going to happen in this one. And I, and I know Lance, and Lance uh, would probably ask the guys just to settle down and tighten up that defense. And uh, as we pointed out before a couple of times, that um, defense wins uh, big matches and wins finals. 100% Colin. And what would you do with your Lance? Uh, for me, I think you'd be looking to close down space. Um, but that's me. I don't know what your approach would be to here. He's well, um, I'll just try and keep the ball a little bit more and, uh, and just be relax. wary of turning the ball over in midfield up, with um, the Bailu midfielders. Um, they're really exciting and they're wanting to go forward the whole time. So there's always that opportunity to uh, get in behind them and uh, put pressure on them. I can see an immediate change from Bailu. They high pressing and cutting and forcing uh, JP to roll the ball into the air. Marvin on the ball. Wonderful skill through midfield. Oh, very good uh, run there by Marvin Simmons. Eliminating a couple of defenders, getting onto his forehand and uh, getting a good shot off. Just a pity it wasn't on target. Nervous moments there for uh, JP Mark. Uh, I think there are a few nervous moments there. You can start finding that uh, some of the JP players come a little bit white knuckled. Just clenching up a little bit. Uh, Hard hands. And Henny with some great skill going into the circles. No. Umpire Stephen Hillock awarding a Nothing. penalty Love corner it. to JP after a couple of stick checks. Okay. I think uh, JP really need to take uh, care you're 40 of this. Okay. You can't tell me what to see. No. Because you put your foot on that ball. Okay. <coughs> and as we mentioned in the previous chucker, end to end stuff uh, once again with Marvin missing on. Uh, the Jeppy uh, goal seconds. and uh, penalty corner right back in the other side. 15. 10. <laughs> Very good save by Obakhen uh, Medici there for uh, Bailu. That's a wonderful save. That's a big toe out in the far corner there. And Bailu straight onto uh, the counter attack. The free hit, yeah, listen. Must listen, Players please. still finding it hard to hear the whistle in a I need to be honest, large uh, crowd. I need to be honest, Mark. I didn't actually hear that whistle either in that uh, I'll, instance. I'll be totally honest with you. I didn't hear it as well. But uh, Stephen Hillock uh, adamant that he blew the whistle. It's a little bit better from uh, Balu capitalizing 
with the extra number. Rowan Wales with the ball. Callum Smith with the ball. He's running out of options going forward. No numbers ahead of him. I think that's uh, the problem when you're a man down. Ryan Mann entering the field of play again. Sprinting back in defence. Some very good uh, skills there by Marvin Simmons winning the penalty corner. Seems to make it look easy, doesn't he, Mark? Absolutely. It's so silky and smooth. He uh, has got hands that change speed. I don't know how he does it. <coughs> but uh, JP just a little bit guilty of getting flat-footed defensively there with the movement. So, so next time I give you the they, hit, and it's not uh, in the same spot. I'm going to their feet okay. and uh, I've warned you two, three times now. The foot. Okay. As always. I blew the first time. No one hurt me because 10,000 people are shouting. That's why. But I'm just thinking, you know, next well, time... Uh, this is, is number right three spot, now. Please. They scored okay. with one variation. Um, I would okay. back my flicker in the, the scenario. It's unfortunate for Ryan Man. Ball just uh, going over his stick onto his foot. Giving Balu another opportunity. Colin, if this is the standard we're seeing at a schoolboy level, okay, let's go, please. The future looks really bright for South African hockey. Definitely, Mark, and uh, this is where, this where it all starts. And uh, I've said it before on a couple of occasions: uh, schoolboy hockey in uh, our country is, is rich with potential and uh, and talent. Wonderful variation it pulled out uh, the JP defenders, and uh, to here actually just couldn't uh, hold on to the ball there. And, and, and to go back to that point, and that's uh, exciting times for uh, South Africa as a whole. We haven't had the chance to chat since uh, the appointment of Gareth Ewing as the South African men's uh, hockey coach. What do we think? Um, yes, well, uh, uh, I'll get back to that now. A good carry in uh, to the circle by Bailu. Quick three hit. And Peter Calder just uh, calming things down a little bit. Um, yes, Mark, I think uh, Gareth has uh, certainly done his uh, time working with the uh, under-21s, uh, been assistant with the men's side on a couple of occasions, and uh, uh, nice to have him uh, stepping up into the men's role now. Absolutely, I think it's just a reward for a loyal servant of South African hockey. Yes, and, uh, and it shows progression, um, you know, for guys that have ambitions to uh, be coaching the national side and, and senior sides. A penalty corner awarded by uh, Stephen Hillock for uh, Jeppy. Yeah, the Balu defence looked a little bit clumsy there as uh, the keeper Nkabinda came storming out there and uh, pushing the ball straight onto his defenders. Uh, <coughs> Apologies, uh, Modise. 20 seconds, 20, 10 seconds gentlemen. And um, going back to uh, Gareth, he's got uh, a short space of time to prepare the men for um, the tournament coming up now. Just at foot, foot, yeah, 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 that's all you got the hit. Yeah, Gareth uh, hasn't got a whole lot of time to work, but uh, you know, let's see what the man can produce. He's done exceptionally well with every side he's uh, worked with, including that S under 21 side when they attended the World Cup in India. Yeah, uh, yes, definitely. That was two years ago, and uh, quite a couple of those players are in his side that he's Dangerous. taking with him now. Temper starting to flare up again uh, here in the final of uh, Aitken Trophy. JP still leading three goals to two. Bolu looking like they have to chase this game. JP looking to sit uh, back a little bit uh, deeper and probably close down the space a little bit more. Well, I think that's uh, what uh, Bailu thrive on is uh, space for those exciting players to uh, attack into. 
So I think uh, Lance's thinking is if we can close that down and limit that, uh, then their ball players can't really carry it and, uh, and run with it. And there's an example of just what uh, we're speaking about. Colin, I must admit there, I happen to agree with the umpires there of the raised ball into the defender. Even though he'd um, got his knee on the ground, the ball was pushed into his chest. A lot of the crowd uh, feeling that they were done, done in there. Um, yes, and it's uh, it's all about the danger aspect, isn't it, Mark? And uh, if you lift the ball into a player's chest, then uh Ryan, over there. Ryan, man. Um Guilty of uh, taking the man without the ball. Peter Calder giving a 10 minute yellow. That means that JP will be one man down for the remainder of the final. So, um, if I was uh, the coach now, I would probably take the goalkeeper off and play with a two man advantage uh, if I was Belu. Absolutely, Colin. I think uh, watching in world hockey. The taking him off with, with enough time in the game gives you a, a real chance. At this stage, there's not a whole lot to lose. Well, whether you lose a final 3-2 or 5-2, uh, it is a final at the end of the day. Marvin with the ball. Some very solid defending there by uh, JP. And this uh, game has just stepped up into a furious pace. We're in for an exciting uh, final five minutes here, Mark. Both teams are uh, leaving nothing here on the pitch. I don't know if anyone can hear this in, uh, on their computers back at home, but uh, the noise level here is of epic proportions. And I have to be honest, uh, this has been very worthy of uh, an Aiken final. It's well managed by JP in the far, far quarter there. Raised ball played into Marvin Simmons. Looking a little bit sore. Marvin? Marvin, talk to me. Okay. Do you want to continue playing or do you want to go off? Okay. You're going to play? Play, okay. Good Walk to see the head. sportsmanship there from uh, Connor Cottom after he lifted that one into Marvin, just checking to see he's alright. Yeah, absolutely. Knowing okay. Connor, he would never want to Free do that there. intentionally to have okay. another Wait player. For the whistle. One corner. We can hear Lars uh, shouting at his defenders to defend outside the circle and make sure that they don't give anything away there. Yeah, I think that's key. Uh, protecting that circle is... Uh, quite a big thing you don't want to give uh, Baloo an opportunity to get into the circle at all no, ball pushed no, in no. to far post and no one finding the end of that so with a man down uh, do you think Alistair should probably get the guys to do a full press here on uh, Baloo go man to man and still have that extra free yeah, man absolutely just down here on the sideline Baloo looking to take their goalkeeper off and put on an extra player I think it'll be a good time now because they uh, still have a player in the Simbin, JP. I think Coach Alistair Fredericks looking to get... Uh, oh. And a really good opportunity there for Bailu. Joshua Williams just missing uh, on the far post. Pressure not over yet. Bailu looking to uh, change the keeper. 
Uh, finally, they managed to get uh, umpire Peter Calder's uh, attention to make the change, taking the well, keep off. Away, so and just I so the viewers know there. that um, so the rules have changed hey, with the, the old kicking back um, and the player with goalkeeping privileges. He's now just a, an extra outfielder player. What do you think of that change, Colin? Um, I think it's a, it's a good change, especially uh, with the safety aspect uh, for the players because um, players were putting their bodies on the line and uh, and that's as kicking backs at that stage they had goalkeeping privileges yeah, and I think uh, taking player safety into consideration uh, uh, I think it's a really good choice Ab absolutely Colin um, I think Bolu getting Let's a little go. bit nervous there as Kellen Henney was running into the into the circle without a goalkeeper yes but some very good uh, 1v1 defence there by uh, the Bolu boys I think uh, JP might just be guilty of trying to waste time here, taking the ball into the final, into the little quarter there, and uh, play mini game for two minutes. It's one thing you don't want to do against uh, Belu is get uh, complacent. JP uh, getting the ball out of the of the circle at any cost. Would that be the plan with uh, the extra play on, direct ball straight down the middle? I uh, probably wouldn't do that. Uh, with the extra player, you can create a 2v1 somewhere. And uh, just bear in mind, uh, they have two extra players because JP are still a player down. So uh, just keep the ball a little bit more and uh, get that overlap, on, especially on the right-hand side here with ball players like, like Marvin. Definitely. I'd be looking to stretch the defenders out of their, out of their channels, play mini games 2v1 on the outside. <laughs> we down to the final minute here, 40 seconds left of the clock. Kellen Haney with the ball in the far corner, looking to have a, a 1v1 battle for 20 seconds. Aiden, don't that's, talk saying, uh, that's just uh, wasting time. But if I look ball at Beilu now, forward. they've got no one high and uh, they're the ones chasing the game a little bit. And that's the final whistle there, Colin. Jeppe winning uh, Aiken Trophy, three goals to two versus against Bolu College. What do you think of that? <coughs> and uh, Mark, what an exciting game. And I think uh, a really good exhibition of schoolboy hockey. And, uh, a game uh, really worthy of a final. Uh, both teams left nothing on the pitch, and uh, we saw some really quality schoolboy hockey out here today. Absolutely. Colin, it's been an absolute spectacle, and uh, what a privilege to watch hockey of this standard. Thank you. And can help you. And uh, that brings us to uh, the end of the Aiken uh, uh, series for 2019. Uh, some really good schoolboy hockey uh, on display. Um, and Mark, it's, uh, it's been great chatting to you and, uh, and uh, commenting on this, uh, this game. Absolutely, it's uh, good to be in a different aspect of the game, but um, coaching this at this, at this velocity has been an absolute privilege to watch and uh, be a part of. And Colin, I look forward to more chats in the commentary box. Absolutely, definitely.